As new soybean crush plants come online in the race for renewable diesel and sustainable aviation fuel, the byproduct called soybean meal is going to be much more plentiful. And it makes a great livestock feed for an emerging market like Morocco, as Agday's Michelle Rook found out on a recent trip there. Morocco has a growing population and livestock and poultry industry, which presents a huge opportunity for growth of U.S. ag exports. Morocco is a country of 37 million people, but its population is rapidly growing and will hit 46 million by 2025, which represents huge market potential for U.S. farmers. Morocco is the fourth largest economy in Africa. In Africa, most of these areas are going to be emerging economies. Despite popular belief, the Moroccan government subsidizes food for its people, and so there is very little hunger. Like other places, there's a disparity between high income and low income. But, uh, you know, even the low income people seem to be eating well. And those consumers are adding more protein into their diet. These other countries are hungry. There's a lot of people out there and they all get a taste of that good quality meat and they want more of it. However, as a Muslim country, there is no pork production. So poultry is the leading source of protein. Poultry production is the most dynamic element of animal production in Morocco. Moroccan eat over 55% of the meat is coming from poultry. Most Moroccans consume poultry fresh, but there is a shift happening in the protein sector. We have a young population. There are changing habits. There is more urbanization. There is more search of easy solutions for preparing food. Water is scarce in this arid climate, so the farmers raise fruits and vegetables, olives, and small grains like wheat, but very few row crops. So feed ingredients are mostly imported. The long-term, longer growing grains like soybeans are just not something that they can embrace here given their climate. Their uh, soybean meal and their soybeans and their uh, DDGs is almost is 100% imported here. In Morocco is already a large importer of U.S. ag products in part due to a long trading relationship and free trade agreement between the two countries. We have zero duty, so it allowed us to be that the product, American, American product will be more competitive. So there is tremendous potential for U.S. farmers to increase sales into this market in the near future. As their population grows, as they become more successful, more profitable to eat more protein in their diet, I think it's a great opportunity for our, our U.S. producers to export, uh, in particular, soybean meal. In Morocco, I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Day. All right, thanks, Michelle. Tomorrow she'll be back with part two, where she looks at the growing protein sector and what that could mean for U.S. soybean meal demand.